Dream is probably one of the most, if not the most, hyped Minecraft content creator right now. He is known for depicting his skill in Minecraft Manhunt, his series, regularly shocking viewers with insane plays of outsmarting his enemies, clutching the most unforeseen situations, or simply destroying his enemies in PvP. But is he actually that good? When looking at the final Minecraft Manhunt, I was shocked by how little Dream is trying to hide that the most popular popular series on his channel is scripted. Is his skill really worth anything when he never actually seems to take part in real unscripted PvP encounters? In today's video, we will take a look at Dream, his playstyle, his enemies and how good at PvP he actually is. The Myth Dream, the white blob, the survivalist, the clutch god. He is regularly going up against multiple people at once that all have better equipment than him. The laver in the nether for him is purely decorational and not a threat at all. But is he really that good? I don't think anyone still believes the manhunt videos to be any more than purely made for entertainment. Even if you're not actively paying attention to possible inconsistencies, with the last manhunt at the very least, it has gotten really hard to not realize just how staged these videos really are. I mean, really? You're not gonna attack him? Literally, come on, just click your mouse, please! But on a real note, I really believe not many people are actually aware of just how fake the manhunts are. In case you want to see me completely taking those apart in a future video, just write a comment asking me for it. I honestly have so much undoubtable proof that it hurts. And don't get me wrong, for the most part, I actually enjoy the manhunts as well. They are really entertaining for sure. But what does this mean for our video? The Manhunt series is worth nothing to look at if we want to figure out how good at PvP Dream is. The Technical Perspective Instead, we will look at clips that actually show Dream using real skill in real PvP encounters against enemies that are actually trying to kill him. Dream's skill set contains of two main factors, the pure PvP skill and the non-PvP mechanical abilities. To get the latter out of the way, what I mean with that are the crazy plays he's pulling off in his manhunts. Plays like the boat clutch or the lava clutch require an insane amount of mechanical skill even though they are probably performed multiple times and if you want to believe some analysis is even technically altered. That sadly gets rid of the situational smartness that you could diagnose Dream with if the manhunts weren't staged at all. So all that he is left with is the mechanical skill. Dream is able to control his mouse and keyboard to an extent that is breathtaking. I tried to perform the boat clutch myself and it took me over two hours to land it even though I used the recipe book. Obviously I didn't alter the time I had in the crafting table and I also don't main any game modes that require fast crafting like super PvP, I am just a mere bad voice main. Yeah, good boy. But I would still consider this to be a remarkable amount of skill on Dream's part. Now let's get to the pure PvP skill. The only proof for Dream's skill in this field are clips of him fighting in 1.9 plus, so we will focus on that for this video. There is a video on Dream XD called Challenging 25 YouTubers to a fight for $5,000. It wouldn't make much sense to stage these fights, so I will assume them to be legit. Over the span of one and a half hours, we can see Dream fighting 23, yeah I know it's hard to count to 25 apparently, different Minecraft players of all sorts, of different skill levels and main modes. I took the time to analyze his gameplay. I took a look at the strategy aspect and the item usage, I also took a look at the fights he won and the fights he lost separately in order to see how his overall parameters would change when facing someone that apparently is just as good or even better than him at PvP. Here are the statistics. Now what do those mean? First of all, let's look at the strategy. Dream uses a really good strategy to deal the maximum amount of damage to his opponent before leaving the confrontation in order to not take damage himself. First, he crits his enemy with the axe, then backs up a little while landing a non-crit hit, shoots the crossbow and immediately turns around to run away to get his shield charged up again. This is part of the explanation why he blocks barely more than half of his enemy's hits on average 
average, since within this procedure, counterhits don't matter too much. The main factor for this is the following though. As soon as he knows he will win a trade off, he stops blocking entirely and just hit trades. The explained strategy is also the main reason why his crit non crit ratio is only at about 73% on average. Non crit hits are part of his playstyle as opposed to failed. His aim is really good, as you can see, he lands 90% of his hits. More than half of the arrows shot at him, he dodges, and more than 75% of his arrows actually hit the enemy. Now, how do those measures change when he actually loses a fight, meaning his enemy is performing just as good or even better than him? The biggest difference from fights in which he has the upper hand is the arrow accuracy. His crit percentage changes by the least amount, which is not surprising, since he is still using his strategy in the last fights. In general, he doesn't manage to block most of the hits, and he is also not really able to dodge most of the arrows. His aim and general movement suffers a lot when getting into actual hard fights. The things that I found the most notable were that he won every fight against Illumina, a top tier speedrunner, and he won most of the fights against Fruitberries, who is known for being an absolute beast at Minecraft. Kelvin, who is really good at 1.8 PvP, also played really well, even getting Dream's aim when using the axe solo that I took it out of the average values. This only gets beaten by the fights against Fruitberries that he lost. Dream definitely is really good at 1.9 PvP. Dream's secret past. Now, it is no secret that Dream has a secret past of 1.8.9 PvP. Sadly, all the evidence surrounding that is no longer on the internet. Or is it? In fact, there are plenty of videos showing Dream in 1.8 PvP. Let me introduce you to the Kelvin and the Technoblade duels. Those are two really skilled players, at least at the time of these videos. For Technoblade, I even proved that in a video just like this one a couple months ago. Be sure to check that out afterwards. Let us first take a look at the Technoblade duel. In my video about if Technoblade actually is good at PvP, I already mentioned the following thing. Dream has an unbelievable amount of experience in PvP. With that in mind, it is safe to say that Dream isn't an easy enemy to combat. In fact, we can even see Technoblade missing rots on Dream during the duel. Without his amazing strategies, Techno wouldn't have been able to win. Now obviously, Dream didn't win the duel, but it was really close. To get a rough understanding of his 1.8 skill, I went ahead and analyzed the first game of the $100,000 duel. Dream's aim is close to flawless. Look at his crosshair, always resting on on Techno. His rod hits were pretty good as well, I just don't understand why he didn't rot when Techno went in for the final hit. In the second 1.8 fight, his rods were really good again though. At multiple points during the fight against Techno, it gets pretty obvious that Dream isn't entirely used to sprint resetting though. Most of the time when we have a situation where the two are beating each other with their swords, Dream takes a reasonable amount of KB and Techno takes almost no KB. Since the key to 1.8 PvP amongst factors like movement and such is the sprint resetting that leads to the conclusion that Dream is merely above average at 1.8 PvP. While his rot and movement are pretty decent most of the time, his sprint resetting lacks a substantial amount of practice it looks like. In non-projectile PvP, this probably places Dream on the same level as the average Hypixel Bad Boys player. This makes me wonder one simple thing. Dream's boat clutch made it seem like he had some great crafting abilities left from his soup PvP days. You would assume him to be good at the general non-projectile PvP as well then but apparently that is not the case. This leaves only two options. Option number one, he selectively unlearned one of his soup PvP skills while keeping the other one. Option number two, he unlearned both skills and the boat clutch is just as staged as the rest of the scenes in his manhunts. One last thing in this duel. Dream wasn't really utilizing a lot of PvP strategies, but in most situations, that was due to Technoblade simply not letting him get into any good positions and out PvPing him. But let's look at the Kelvin duel, maybe Dream just had a bad 1.8 PvP day when he fought Techno or the stress was too high. Okay, to make it short, the Kelvin duel looks pretty similar. Dream is pretty decent with his movement, his rods tend to be pretty accurate most of the time, but his sprint resetting isn't on point. That seems to be his biggest weakness. It also is pretty apparent that Dream is trying to incorporate 1.9 plus PvP strategies into his 1.8 PvP style, which doesn't work out that well. Kelvin summarizes that pretty well.
his biggest flaw in 1.8 PvP. He turns around and tries to run and fake you out and then turns back to hit you. That doesn't really work that well in 1.8. I've seen people do it in 1.9 PvP where you turn around, you kind of fake them out and they miss their hit and then they go back. And then the person who is faking out, they get an extra hit because the person missed theirs. In 1.8, that's not really viable. You continue to swing your sword. If you miss a hit, you're going to get one right after it. That's just how 1.8 goes. Conclusion. All right, what did we learn today? Dream has a lot of mechanical skill. While his manhunt sadly can't prove any of his strategical or mechanical skill for obvious reasons, his legit duels at least seem to prove that he is indeed good at 1.8 PvP, but not necessarily any better than the average player. 1.9 plus PvP seems a bigger strength of his, I would even go as far as to say that he is way above average with that. Having compared both Technoblades and Dream's skill, I would confidently prove that Technoblade was a stream duel to be right in showing that Technoblade might be the better player, but Dream being really decent at his craft as well. If you want to see me exposing Dream's manhunt, tell me in the comments. If you don't want to miss out on future projects, subscribe, have a wonderful rest of your day or night, and goodbye.